All right, we are live on YouTube as well, and I have the merge chats ready for once, so it's perfect. Welcome, Chandler. Hope you're having a good day. All right, we'll get into game in just a moment here. Jeez, that took a while. Uh, let's see what our quests are. Play three games. I think I can do that today. <clears throat> Welcome, Jeremy. <clears throat> All right, let's get our first run of the day going. And see how we do. I think I want to go Lillian here. I haven't played her in a while. We'll get to the bottom of this. The good old connections, turtle shell shenanigans. Kind of tough to beat that. And we're just going to do some Borgolin. Velorock is nerfed, but still probably good. So let's get going. What do you think about Legends of Runeterra Dying? Are you glad you stayed on Hearthstone? Um, no. <laughs> I, I, I mean, a game losing support is generally a bad thing, especially for people that enjoyed it. I actually was... The news and their emphasis on, like, single-player content makes me curious to try that out, though. So I might try some uh, some of the Path of Champions over the weekend, just to see. Because I've, I've never actually played uh, Legends of Runeterra. This looks like a full mole to me. Scourge Illusionist was tempting, but I think it's a little bit slow, and we need cards that we can get out of hand. We tried Gwent, uh, yes. I played a fair amount of it when it first came out. It's a good pickup. Let's just get the weapon down and keep Bash in face. This is good for just one big dragon, not like the uh, sea of dragons that we're inevitably going to be faced with. Um, so I kind of need to try and get a kill before. What would it be? The. Jeez, uh, that's kind of backbreaking for my deck. Um. But you need to kill before the Fi, before the Dragon Golem into the Fi. So I imagine that's probably coming down this turn. I might take a 50-50 on the weapon. Name. 
This looks a little bit weird, but I'm trying to clear space so that we can have a better chance at hitting the taunt minion that comes down next turn. Like, yeah, I want the two damage from Astalor, but we're if it goes face here because of this play, uh, we still get that two damage phase, right? We also do just have a shadow step if we need it. Is. Okay, just don't low roll, I guess. Well, we low rolled. Look for damage here. Damage. Damage. Okay. Job done. I do have another Astalor in my deck for more damage. Oh, welcome, Air Hater. But we have lethal. Awesome. Well, we have super lethal now. It is always morally correct to be um, Dragon Druid. You have a decent number of legendaries. And getting the cost reduction could be nice. Maybe that's better. Just because we could also generate legendaries from the uh, connections. Got three legendaries now with the potential to draft more. Like, we're going to take every copy of Drilly, every copy of Velarok that we find. So. Let's do this. No legendaries here. Other than the Hanar, which doesn't really fit with what our deck's doing. Why is this highlighting over non-combo card? Oh, it's... Still thinking what we're talking about, uh... Something else. Uh, I think it's just this for some low cost stuff that we can play. This is more copies of Drilly, which gets us more cost reduction as well. Synergizes with the Excavate reward? Yeah, that was something uh, I considered as well. Hello, oh, Patrick. Aaron, hello. Okay, this is the porcupine combo. It really starts getting good later in the run, though, so this is a fine time to queue into it. I think we keep the death in, just in case, though. Could even consider a Shadow of Demise for it, but I... Oof. Oh, we do get some cost reduction off of that. Pillage. 
I think they maybe have like the harpoon gun as a weapon. Already hit a legendary. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a good hand to redraw. I think that was worth giving up the Deppin for. We probably lead with this, try and get Velarock value. You're welcome, Star Swirling. So they do have the harpoon gun that does give them decent inspiring presence value. Opponent has a face. Thoughts on Silent Priest. Um, the only time I ever think about that is when people incessantly stop at, uh, or incessantly ask me about it, even though like it isn't a deck that's existed for years. So I don't think about it much. Like it hasn't really gained any new cards or anything recently. And despite its cult following, any time I've posted a video on it in the in the past, nobody watches it. Oh, welcome, Jude. That's actually a pretty good weapon. But we've got a pretty good Bellarock lined up. I did in duels before. Uh, no, because it would just go 3 and it would not be very much fun. This is a legendary, but it still costs 5, so let's go here. See if we can get that silence. Damage. No. Let's go here. Job done. Decks like Silence Priest just get absolutely trampled by every other deck that exists in duels, and it's not fun to try those types of things, unfortunately, in the format.
is the rock lethal. Okay. I like the things that Inspiring Presence did here. Low cost stuff is good. How many minions do we have compared to... I think we have more spells than minions, right? Bubba is legendary? Yeah. But... We don't want to pay six mana for cards. I think we go with the Clockwork Assistant, even though the so the Seeds is easier to get off. Craigasm. Adds too many cards to hand. It's probably just the uh, Voyage here. Let's get some nice dumpable cards. Aside from the Jackpot. Inspiring Presence is a secret OP tier 1 passive, to be honest. Yeah. Like, you don't need that many legendaries to actually make it viable, right? You just need some... Like, Astalor alone just kind of covers it. Just because you get cost reduction off of every phase of Astalor. And then if you just generate Spinly on turn 1, like, your entire game is... Uh, just unlock like that one was like we omega high rolled but i don't think we really need to do to win that game and it's one of the few like cost reduction options in duels that goes below zero which is a big deal or goes to zero always threatening each other. Uh, prep's fine if we can hit like a potion belt or something. Oops. Ah, it's you. Do you cast a shadow spell? Deal damage to each hero. Okay. Ow. Bring out your dead. Wow, I'm jealous. I want that card. Uh-oh. My hand's good. <laughs> For the roast, my lord. Never bring a sword to a body. One mana three two. Seems strong. kill that, but fortunately I can.
I'm getting low already. So I'm not too excited about that, but maybe we can just farm some value off of this Undertaker. Monsters beneath you. Giving them value off of that Scourge Illusionist is not an acceptable option here when they're a Death Rattle deck, too. Again, the cost reduction on the Scourge Illusionist just kind of hard carried. Ugh, had enough. You still enjoy streaming? Uh, usually, yeah. I mean, like any job, there are times where it's a job. Battle pants. Again, we can't reduce below one with this, so not terribly helpful. This is horrendous. So I think it's just battle pants. It's pretty aggressive here at Bower, so or passive, so let's just go for it. It's good into everything that isn't Dragon Druid. This is reasonable. Better than that. Probably better than this as well. Speaking of Dragon Druid. Witness the ways of my force. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? I think we do keep the Bellarock and look for a way to generate. There we go. Okay. This is probably going to be a tough one to win. That said. My blade stays sharp. It's an early legendary, we just play it. I'd rather have cards from my own deck most of the time. We missed the Scourge Illusionist again. That's too bad. Your wish is by suggestion. There's simply nothing I can do. It's kind of looking for a shadow step here. Surely that Zeph is inactive, right? That's a lot of mana.
Does this send away too? Awesome. as well. Scorch the sands. Yeah, I think we're losing this game. Welcome to the <laughs> None of these are good targets for the uh, turtle shell. So we just have to figure out a way to potentially win with value, which is always going to be to the opponent's advantage. the three fours off the board and play this. It's the worst target. So makes it difficult to win. Good burn at least, but they just have another uh, dragon golem coming down here. At best. Thank you. 
the bright side, I can't randomly die to a copy of Alexstrasza because I'm below 15 health already, so... Just made atheists. You just randomly die to other things instead. It's just a bad matchup for us. We caught the first one early because, or we got the first win because it was so early. Uh, Tiny Thimble is a legendary, right? Sure. Tink Flinger, pretty good. Everything else looks pretty horrendous. But the Fool's Gold is kind of gross. It does help with the Velarok, but... I think the, the tempo gain from the Antique Flinger is just hard, too hard to pass up on. True, it's a double legendary. Almost as good as Astellar's triple legendary. Did I ever have thought to put Flick Skyshiv into the starting deck to destroy Dragon Golems, or does that mess up the buck buckets too much? Uh, what is that, Galakron? It's a really, really bad set of buckets. And this deck doesn't really want to play six mana cards. Like, look at where the curve tops out on. I think you're better off just with a lower curve trying to smork them down. In the same way that adding Steam Cleaner to your deck isn't a solution to Bomb Warrior. I'll put you out of your misery. Early Astolor is a lot of mana cheat, so probably keep that. Maybe even consider breakdancing it. Uh, Battle Pants are pretty good for oh god, for stripping away their armor at least. Might have been better off getting stuff to play under the board, but this is the fun play. Surely we won't get punished for having fun. Not in Hearthstone. Weasel. to the breakdance here. Just in case we find the fellow up. I 
I got the breakdance back anyway. My blade stays sharp. It's a good pickup. Any scourge illusionists? No. My blade stays sharp. Yeah, that's already quite large. Is that our breakdance now? My blade stays sharp. Job done. Astalor still might be better, but that's fine. Welcome, Runora. Trial by fire. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be a lot of bombs. Like, infinitely many bombs. But we gotta go fast. And potentially even use the burge on that, just because it doesn't really matter. Just playing for tempo here. Collapse is good. Probably just use next turn as a hand dump turn. And pray we don't burn anything important here. I guess we could also just, like, fill hand. But... Fun and just doing that for us, I guess. That's a bad use of the snakes, isn't it? Slam is damage. Okay. Let's 
go here. Yes, master. Our gift of frost shields us. Excavated once. I must have a blast charge for that. Wait, I ended up. Uh, I thought I had 10 cards in hand. That was a goof. I did a whoopsie. Oh wait, the order is in my favor, never mind. Does this add the cards to my hand? can't remember. It's changed over the years and I don't remember what the current state is. Yes, it does? Okay. It does add? It does add. Okay. Doesn't WTF. Oh, everybody's shuffling now. Yeah, that was a YouTube chat moment if I've ever seen one. cards. Next turn we're looking at Astalor. Welcome, Slum. Take these three attacks, play the Astalor, and win. Easy game. Mob and Supercharge both look pretty good. I think I take the mob though. Joe, thank you for the 250 bits. Appreciate that. 
Funny that without the overdrives, you would have only taken 15 damage. Is that true? I think it was slightly more. I thought it was at least 20, but I could be wrong. Oh my god, the fizzle value. I think we take fizzle. Just as a low-cost legendary. And yet another breakdance. Four copies of breakdance. Oh, well Mandy. met. SPB. Thank you for the two gifted subs. Appreciate that. Could be more likely because drawing a bomb still draws another card. Yeah, that's another good point that possible I would have drawn more had I not been burning the bombs. But my bomb my deck was like over half bombs. Well, this might be a matchup where like going infinite with fizzle could do something, right? You found one. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Could just play this on two and get the coin back. And then coin the illusionist behind it. So, you know, a lot of people taking blood shields lately. Well met. It's a new year. Enjoy it. SPB, thank you for three more gifted subs. Much appreciated. This is an unfortunate hit, so unless we can get some buff options. Aren't you a special one? The Iron Divine is mine! My blade stays sharp! Frogs are roll. I think we can just go coin Illusionist next turn. Wow. Opponent just throwing their meat around like that. Hmm. Let's just kill that. go here into here. I don't know if this is a hand for Fizzle yet, but I do want the cost reduction as the thing. And I kind of want more copies of the... this guy. Okay. Maybe it is a Fizzle. And next turn. Zero mana, five, six. SMH my head. When will the power creep end? Oh, uh, yeah. Illusionist should rotate this coming year. It was uh, Lich King. Astalor will, too. Uh, Ask Delore back. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Shiny. My shiny. Double or double. My blade stays sharp. So they are. The excavate deck, right? If they're double and holy frost, they haven't done a whole lot of excavating just yet. And 
and there's no weapon online, so they're not getting a level. Okay. Now we can silence that. Although they probably just chomp it. Mimron. Actually, this one is phenomenal. As much as I want the uh, Mimron for the uh, additional legendary, another Scourge Illusionist and an Alchemist is pretty good. In addition to the zero mana ransack. Welcome, Doctor Noise Water. Light show is fixed. Oh, I can't wait to have more people demanding I play Light Show Mizaki in duels and waste about 30 minutes of my time. That'll be fun. Lillian versus Rattlegore. I'll put you out of your misery. I think one of the uh, the more annoying parts about people demanding I play Light Joe Mizaki is like, on top of it very clearly being a bad deck and a bad strategy that'll get a bad result, um, I don't think it's the hero you'd want to play Light Show in. Like, why wouldn't you just play Reno with the spell damage hero power so that you can blast them even harder? Ghost of Monte gets it. It's... What is Light Show? Uh, it's a card that people like to pretend exists in Hearthstone. It is a 3 mana deal 2. Maybe deal 4. Untargeted. Is Mizaki is funny? Oh, okay. That's why everybody loves Freeze Mage. Does he say tiny brains? Is he talking to chat? He does say tiny brains. Interesting. Got more light shows and duels limits that too heavily. Yeah, I'm mean, I just imagining back to the time I tried to play Ogre Rogue in duels and got zero ogres offered to me. And just the thought of reliving that, but with light show is not terribly appealing for me. On top of the fact that any sensible person can accurately predict what the likely outcome is. Oh, they have rocket backpacks, huh. The first time it's become relevant. Yeah. 
shot. They can copy the drilly if they want, but they're running into more hand issues than I am. Another one. Monsters beneath you. One day I'll be a real knight. Where's the name Raffle come from? I don't know. You can think about it. I'm confident you can figure it out. It's clearly what my parents named me and it's on my birth certificate. Thank you for the sub. My favorite. I miss that voice line. Jeez, what a hand. first actually Imagine not getting both pieces of the Quell Delora. Couldn't be me. Aside from the fact that it often always is me. Some serious, serious hand space issues, and that's not helping. Bellarock Shadow Step Lethal, maybe. Probably not.
don't really like playing this card. Because it creates more hand size issues, but maybe that can be useful later. You miss 100% of the Quadalars you don't try to take? True. <laughs> Nobody knows that better than me. Six. Surely we're almost there. I yeah, appreciate that, Dungeon Fighter. Glad you're enjoying the content. No unholy frenzy. The nerf to Velorock was significant. Uh, yes. Very. Is that you know the word. even remotely a discussion? What is it? My blade stays sharp. What is it? His health was cut in half. Do I have any... Let's see. Does two. Quaint. My blade stays sharp! Job done. Alright. Pretty good sticky board. Candle 
Oh, that costs more every mana than they have. I really wanted to see what was in the box. It have been so fun. I mean, if we're ever going to get Golden Cobalt value, it's in this deck, right? Probably just snag this as well. It was a tough matchup, that's for sure. I mean, was it? <laughs> we were kind of in control of that game the entire time. I'll be right back. I'll put you out of your misery. Rogue duel's gone. I can't buy one. Is it? It's grayed out. Shouldn't be. That's what I'm playing right now. I kind of like the coin or the prep jackpot into coin Astalor for a bunch of cost reductions starting on some of those spells potentially. Oh my god. Well, I think Idols is probably like better than Shadow Casting for this deck. Let's just do this for now. Take a more reasonable turn. Like, this is just going to be so much armor gain that we're going to have to punch through. It might be a coin fizzle angle, though. This is a decent hand for that. Yes, it is. Now I kind of want it to land here, so let's do that. Not lucky. Could also be a fun game for the uh, Golden Cobalt. If we get stuck with some bad spells off of this or something. Or if I just feel like having some fun. Great, great option here. My blade stays sharp. Need to remember I have pants on. Not a 
needle cock. Welcome, Felix. Grave, hello. So it's probably a sanitize if they didn't let it rip there. Either way, let's do this. Second one is just insult to injury. I mean, big true. No matter which one it is, because the idols, both the bellowing and the uh, sanitizer, are extraordinarily bad for me. Just because it's almost always going to be a full clear, regardless of which it ends up being. It is good to see it gone, at least, but they're probably just doing it for the armor game, if I had to guess. So that may mean that they don't have much in the way of armor gain outside of that in order to activate the uh, armor lady. Sing along. You know the word. Well, at least they don't have a super impactful draw next turn. Avenging Wrath is great. Slug my balls. Surely this hits their armor vendor. Ow. Speak your peace. Hey now. Okay, we finally have a bounce effect for the Bellarock or the Astalor. I worked hard for that. You're welcome, Martin. A 
What a bother. I really just wanted the tiller to get some value too. I was having none of that. Why is Velorek called the deceiver after he shows his true face? Well, because he was deceiving people. And then he showed his true face. So the opponent really think they earned the right to go face there. Apparently. Personally, I kind of don't think they have yet. Especially since we are simply just not drawing bombs. Because uh, we can't, even if they were at the top of our deck. The champion here. their face. Okay, now we need more than that. Do I have to not... Do I have to play this this turn now? Like, what are the odds for this? I'm... We need what? Five to hit face. Velorok plus Avenging Wrath could also just get there. Let the bad lands burn. The and we still have the... Uh... How confident am I in this Avenging Wrath? I was counting the Elven Archer, please. Almost out of time. Don't need your help. I think we just go for it here. Take a skip when we get it. Wrath loses. You're quite smart. Glad you said that after I made my decision. Needed what two hits from the wrath to go face?
there at five. Yeah, I just needed two to go face. In fact, Re Avenging Wrath was almost always lethal there. The odds were incredibly in my favor. Lillian versus Omu. Witness the ways of my force. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Hey, welcome, Philo. Good coin this out. It's a pretty good coin. And uh play the ghouls. This is a horrendously bad matchup though. Because we actually care about the board. Oh. Well, that gives us uh, some important information. There's no other dragons in hand. Get in there and fight, maggot. Symptoms will be severe. Oh good, we got a dragon fire potion. My blade stay shot. Job done. Think about how the mini sets buckets actually makes Dragon Druid worse because they're less consistent in getting the cards that they need now. So that's cool. cycle back into. Okay. Uh, this is a hand where we're absolutely playing the Cobalt, just not yet. Yeah, we've got, we've got more important things to do right now. The Cobalt do it replaces my hand with random legendary minions, but I've got a really good hand as it stands. I can even fizzle the uh, Cobalt for more Cobalts later. The widow embraces me. Look at what they have to do to harness a, a fraction of my power.
We could just go fizzle straight into the Cobalt next turn if we really want to. Just because I don't have a way to generate another class card. We know that's not a dragon. I think this one could be, but this one can't. I bestow these gifts upon the world. That's a tad bit annoying here. The virtue of the wild. I bestow these gifts upon the world. Oh, never mind. The mini set ruined. Dragon Druid even more. I have no I have no way to uh play against this. Like I have no response here. the one time that card was going to be actually useful. That's a pretty big mistake. healing left, right? Is it gold in the shadow? This is a teaching moment. Ruffle is the worst luck? I mean, that was self-imposed. I made a mistake. I'm getting punished for it. Snake, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. My mouth very rarely okay. Actually, oh wait, I don't draw that. Never mind. I appreciate that, Snake. I bestow these gifts upon the world. The virtue of the wild. We 
Why is the Titan free? Who thought that was a good idea? That's why it's such a strong turn zero play. Turn one play. These aren't good. Yes, we did get Gonk, but you have to remember Gonk doesn't do anything. makes me happy that's true we can we can enjoy him while we lose this game just sit back and appreciate the gonkness the gonkening the gonk we generated along the way thank you Kali that's true it certainly wasn't the game that we played I mean that said we were winning like the first half of this game and then we got kind of giga scammed for the oh my god this cost four or you have to have four other minions yeah I don't I don't have a way out here. Staying in longer is just going to frustrate me more. This is a legendary. That's another Velarock, finally. Sure. The longer I stay in that game, the longer I have to deal with chat's uh, big brain insight into game design balance and solutions to those problems as well. So it's a win-win to just concede. In fact, it's the only way I can win is by conceding there. Mirror match. You're ruining mine. I mean, just get it. Slam in the Velarock on curve seems good. Now, oh, welcome, Jake. Wow, kind of weird. The opponent's not even wearing pants. Uh oh. 
assuming it's not the mirror match. My blade stays sharp. This is one hundred percent just to uh, hit the Velarock online. Surprised you aren't playing Twist. Do you want to not want to play two hours of Twin Tyrant Mirrors for some reason? If I wanted to do that, I would play some Arena, right? There's already a format where that's possible. Speak your piece. Okay, so they're just Jade. That's going to be not the best matchup for me. You don't need pants for a victory dance? Yeah, but, like, that's only because Baboon's better than Weasel. What are the odds of that? What? <laughs> Let the badlands burn. Scorch the sands. Legendary. I think we can get some Astellar value later. What is happening here? We're just going back and forth with the same cards or for an upcoming turn. You're already copying people and Lucy advances that game plan? True. Oh. That's fine. We've got another copy of him. Do you like Hearthstone tournaments? Uh, I like to watch them.
Peace! What about participating? No. Not particularly. See what they've got cooking now. Moopy did a solid turn the other day. I don't know if he has a VOD up. Yeah, I saw that. And I definitely respect people that uh, that do host and participate in tournaments. It's just, especially hosting, which is something I've done before, is just a excruciating amount of work and stress that uh, I'm not terribly interested in. this position even if they're at a low health total. Roarin! Thank you for the raid! Hope you had a good stream. And hope you're doing well. Playing a little bit of duels. And uh, as you can see by this opponent's turn, it's going just great. <laughs> uh, we are currently 7-2, though, playing a, like, Bellarock uh, Lillian deck. But hope you had a good stream. And welcome, Raiders. Well, that actually seems quite big, doesn't it? Somebody told me it was going to be this big. Dread jungle giants in duels yet. Yeah, I immediately went 0 3. It was miserable. Yes, master. Your mind is empty. <laughs> My blade stays sharp. Nice. Yes, master. Break it down. Don't dismiss a sight. Really need to find my turtle shell. 
think that's probably the only way back into this. How did Twist go for Raren, though? I saw he was, uh, I think, playing a bit of that warrior deck that's been going around. Was it fun? Fun to play, fun to watch? Somewhere in between. What did that hit? Kind of seems like they could have made trades to improve their chances of getting a good target there. Gotta go do it with Drek'thar. I went for wins. I did. It's not good. Have I excavated at all? No. They are currently one damage off legal. Game, do you play in your spare time, Ruffle? I have no spare time right now. I'm posting daily content on three different YouTube channels. Like, if they don't get lethal, they have to trade, or the Astalor seals it. We do this first to make sure it dies. Once again, we are technically still alive. I don't know if that vendor helped or hurt me. Well, unless I get double damage, then it definitely helped me here. Okay. I would have been dead to that if I didn't play the armor vendor. So that's neat. to generate. Oh, 
Alright. Need something good here. Those are not it. I can't trade here because then I die. My blade stays sharp. As opposed to the situation where I just die. Rip. I tried my best. Someone who shouldn't be doing. Uh, we kind of uh did not draw well towards the end. But I think if they hadn't gotten a Jade Idol specifically there, we probably probably win that. It's a really unlucky roll for me. Got our money back though, so I'll take it. Alright, let's get a new run going. Kinda wanna do a slate run. So let's do that. But like not the not the combo deck. Uh Just a secret hunter. So I don't actually think I've ever posted a secret hunter to YouTube. For the Dragon Omu is good in duels, you should try it, yeah. Hi. Savage Secrets and Stalking Pride. Hey, welcome, Joe Badaya. Ender, hello. All right. Spam secrets win games. Simple as. Gonna grab some water while this queues, but I'll be back. timing. This is a bummer to get uh, game one. Probably just want to get some good tempo early. Welcome, Rising One. Well, we got our good value options as well. I think this is a hand that can do some things. It's just kind of a really unfortunate uh, game one matchup. Surely they didn't just coin a two without having a backup too, right? That works too.
I think I want to get better value than just a single secret when they just forged a card that could be a Bellowing Flames. Like, this is the card that has to win me the game, though. Is this going to work? I don't think so, because it's not actively used, right? Okay, so we do need to trigger those. The bait and switch may not have been the right choice, just because of the fact that we have one in hand. Already seen the bellowing. Sorry if this has already been covered, but Titan Force Traps doesn't count towards the stocking pride count. I know. Nobody suggested that it did. <laughs> but also, I have played Hearthstone before. I know it may not always seem like it. Look at this chain of messages. <laughs> Raffle, what's up, you bloke? A few seconds later. Nothing. Question mark. Prick. <laughs> yes. You got me. I'm the prick here. Patience is definitely that person's strong suit. Well, look, as an incredibly impatient person myself, that's relatable, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. There's no obligation for me to respond to every message that I receive. <laughs> that would be an unreasonable expectation. Glad you made it to the stream, though. Thanks for watching. in an okay spot right now? How's that happening? Wind Fury? Almost Wind Fury.
been stubbornly refusing to acknowledge that death rat release is not good for a while now. 33 runs and I've never gotten more than 4 wins. Wish me luck on the next one, I'm getting good vibes about this. Yeah, you got this, you got this. Good luck, weaponize ketchup. Any chargers? <laughs> well, those are bad. It's actually a good attack for them. It changes bomb break points. It's about a 50-50. So this draw will determine the outcome of the game. Never mind. Wait, right, yes. It's exactly a 50-50. Very cool. Uh, sticky fingers with the hero power is pretty silly, so we're going to do that. Jeez, these are kind of all over the place. I honestly don't know here. Maybe the murderous bucket? Petting zoo also nice. I don't get good value off of the jewel in the Zoth. It's just the murderous bucket. Get more secrets as well as collateral damages damage to face. These aren't great, but it's the one that's most in line with what uh, my deck is trying to do. Tempting to keep this, but I think I need to find secrets for the Cloaked Huntress, otherwise it's not a great card anyway. Ralph will hear me out one time before duels ends, Mogu Kotos run. Look, there are simpler ways for me to just delete 150 gold and waste 40 minutes of my time. Be quick.
Gotta be honest, I'm getting one and three vibes from this run. I guess it's good nobody asked then. a little bit redundant with the cat trip that we already have. Maybe I should have just played the cat trick, in fact, instead of just going for the mana efficient line. Uh, the hero power generates a two mana beast every time a secret is revealed. It's an explosive trap, right? the Titan Forge traps. It costs one. This costs one, so we play. Let's uh, go face first. These are not great rolls. Let's do. Okay. Good for you, buddy. Be quick. Wandering. Is it three cards for Motion to Nine? Yeah. It's likely to happen, but it's also likely that they get healing as a result Men of would literally rather send bits than go to therapy. <laughs> Allegedly. Thank you, Weapon Eyes Ketchup. Wait. Boom. This isn't me wasting money, this is my complex financial arbitrage scheme. Bits are a foreign currency, right? I mean... Wasn't there, like, actually some people <laughs> using bits for, like, money laundering for a while? So you may be onto something, thank you, Colin.
just leaving that up. If I call this an investment, then it's a tax write-off, right? Job done. No. <laughs> no, please. For the love of God, one of you speak to an accountant once in your lives. <laughs> oh! That's rough. I've spoken to one I just haven't let I just didn't like their advice. Fair. Another explosive sheep. The best part about bits is that they are free, so you everyone can send as much as they want, allegedly. Well met. I'm glad you added the allegedly there, uh, because it definitely wasn't true. Thank you, Zabi, for the bits, though. And Oxford, bro. Please tell me. Please tell me you're studying accounting at Oxford, and you can help out with chat. Uh, Butch is kind of gross, right? Okay. That's a big boy. Uh, this seems alright. Like, just a second bunker is probably worth over the bait and switch and the observers. Bunch of bananas also kind of tempting with the monkeys. Be right back. Let's look for the Cloaked Huntress. She's probably the most important card in our deck. Behind Butch, of course. Did I hear free bits? No. Thank well, you, Mr. Ruffle. Really nice of you. I to be clear, I said the bits aren't free. But but you did hear free bits from a misguided chatter. Oh, thank you, Ace Jones. This is not the best hand in the world. It's just a tribute. I'm accounting on these bits being a tax write-off. Well, you're going to be very disappointed come tax season. But thank you, Windchill Factor. That was the Lillian run. I think we ended at 7. Hashtag free my boy bits he's innocent and the stuff that he did do wasn't that bad anyways. True and real. God. That was really poor order for the opponent at least, but this is a really poor matchup for me, unfortunately. Yeah, we only took two. We're fine. Everything's fine. Stop freaking out, chat! God, you're always freaking out. This is my investment into a coin to the moon. Yeah, that... It's going towards the moon base. We've been over this. Thank you, Riggity. Bits are free now. No. But how much are livers? 
Do we get a discount for Ruffles' birthday? Yeah, you get the old Spending five. Spending too much on anything and calling it an investment is my right as American. You get the five finger discount on uh, on livers around here. In fact, livers, on the other hand, are an investment. After you sell them. So thank you, weaponized ketchup. Really need a good stocking pride, I guess, I need, which means I need to hit the Dunbalder bunker. But like, Puna does a better job of playing for board than I do. This is a not the time for that. I have no plays here. That's what makes them tasty. This is an excruciatingly bad hand. I just hit all of my top end on a... Like, look at my curve that's left in my deck. And now look at the cards that are in my hand. This game's ogre. Just lost to a really bad draw. Misguided chatter here. Thank you for the free bits raffle, and in return, I will be sending my liver and any free financial advice I have acquired over my illustrious two-day accounting career. Two whole days? You're practically an expert. Thank you, Zevi. In before someone explains to me it's on some play, not summon. Often wrong, but never in doubt. Chatter here. Keep buying beanie babies. They're just about to go to the moon. Okay, I believe that. Yeah, believe that. Thank you, thank you, Colin. I'm on it. Two days of accounting experience is four days more than the rest of chat combined. True. <laughs> Are you sending the Beanie Babies to the moon? Look, they're an investment. We're sending them to the moon base so that we can have them for later and cash in on that. Alright, the Dunbalder bunker is really important for a game plan, so let's keep that. Look for, like, the one drops as well. Okay, well, these are also important cards for the, the matchup, or for the deck's game plan, at least. Does that make it uh, Questline Shaman, or Mage, maybe? Rothel says I need an accountant, but they sound expensive. How many accountants can I get for seven livers? I mean, that's between you and your accountants. Come, midnight. Job done. But thank you, Weaponized Ketchup. I'm not quite sure on what the conversion rate is for uh, livers to accountants just yet. But you should wait until after your tax season to uh, 
take your accountant's liver. There's simply nothing I can do. Get your own minion, please. Thank you. Will typing Impressive. a bunch of consecutive spaces give you a TTS break? Allegedly. Uh, no, you need to type space slash space, I think. Uh, for, I don't know if it's back or forward space. They're both the same. Skip 40 minutes when he was drafting. How is he still on one win? Uh, the run started 30 minutes ago, so... Somebody's wrong here. So, opponent kind of a uh, Giga Chad. Honk. It's possible we lose the beaver here, but we can just refill with the uh, stocking pride if that happens. Why are their minions so big? No, not the beaver! That almost got sniped. Where's that chatter who said I'm going one and three? It's 
clearly a two and three run. Royal Gift with the Stalking Pride seems all right. Tracking Cat and select a Breeder. Do I have a beast to get off of this? Butch. I've got Butch. Okay. Why didn't you put Tavish Hero card in your deck? Because it's not good. <laughs> Getting engaged tomorrow. Well, congratulations in advance. the dragon druid oh hey are you a new professor double bunker again Draconic Dream is kind of annoying, but the Band of Bees is helpful. GG, Kali. I had my suspicions. Let's just get this down and rolling. We can play the Breedy Boy. I picked an Ultra Human Ring for the Nuptials instead of a Diamond one. Does that mean it's made of humans? Oh my god. Well, GG, I guess. Really, the thing about the variance of duels is that it brings out the true skill difference in players. True. True. Just a absolute skill difference moment right now. Wait, that's actually kind of good for me. Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> They've played so few dragons.
Whoopsie. Wait, that's potentially game saving. Bees. an order lol. We must stop this corruption. One secret left in deck. I believe this could be lethal. Good Let to put an opponent on a short clock. I mean, I kind of already were on one, weren't they? is 12 plus 1224 lethal that's a big bird not to be confused with big bird I can't believe we Survive that uh, free twelve twelve. Looming presence seems good. Let's 
second cloaked huntress is really good. Always withdraw from the competition, Professor. Oh, hey, are you a new professor? Bad Arson, when is playing Kazakus a good idea? Doesn't it delete your deck in exchange for a few treasures? Isn't your deck almost always better than those treasures? No, the treasures, if you hit good, uh, like put the opponent on, on a clock, like it can end the game very quickly. I think it could be elementals, and I'm tempted to keep the spring the trap. But if it's not, we just kind of sit back and watch, right? Let's try it, though. Yeah, the bunker makes everything better. Oh. Well, I don't really know what that means yet. But they didn't get pillage if they are just, like, the weapon build. So there's still a chance it's elementals. That there's something great inside. You can always use them when your deck is half an empty. I mean, with Kazakistan, if you wait, you could wait until you're in a worse position. And like the opponent was in an advantageous position when they played the Kazakistan. In terms of health total, right? They're looking to close out the game from their perspective. And that's... That's what Kazakistan is good at doing, is closing out games. I don't want to have to do this, but I have to do this. I need that honorable kill. And, uh... We're also on two losses, so we make, uh... We make some exceptions here. For the usual rule. set of secrets up. Also, this minion with the uh, death rattle and the poisonous is potentially pretty silly. Call the fun police. We woo. We woo indeed, yeah. Look, I don't... I, I'm just trying to get some YouTube content. As mentioned, we're short on time these days. I gotta make it work. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't do- this one was not my fault. The opponent played straight into the bees. You cannot blame me for that.
Once is a mistake. Twice is a pattern. Yeah. I agree. But that's still not my fault. Yes, officer. That's him right there. Two of them. Two of... No, 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 no. You have me mistaken for someone else. But thank you, Kali and Weaponized Ketchup. Look at this, this gastropod is about to get poisonous. Uh, I'm gonna lose just to this weapon, aren't I? Like, that's a lot of damage. It's also a lot of damage, at least. I hate to say it, but we don't deserve to win this one. Not this way. I mean, okay, fair. Thank you, Ketchup. Okay, good dodges at least. You don't need more weapons, no, stop. Oof. Hey, Wind Fury. God, that would have hurt. I know when I've lost. Cool. That was uncomfortable for the entirety of that match. More secrets? The deck looked kind of cool. Yeah, I tried it once, and <laughs> it was not fun. I just got bullied. It was another one where, speaking of getting bullied, it was another one where chat just spam asked me to play that deck for days, weeks even, and then I played it, and it was absolute trash here. <laughs> I'll take an extra copy of which. Uh, this is unfortunately not likely to be a good matchup. If it's the uh, 
the Idis combo. Doesn't look like it is, though. Maybe it is. I don't know. Is it favorable with secrets? I guess, yeah, because maybe we could time the, like, the bees in particular correctly. Maybe find a pressure plate that could help. But it depends on what secrets we get. John, okay. This is just another chatter trying to prove me wrong. Clearly. Okay, hey, Ralph, you have to win this? I know, I said a lot of really negative things about Jungle Giants in, uh, <laughs> in duels just a few moments ago. Very cool. Hello, streamer. Are you aware this is a PvP game? I gotta tell you, I've never been more aware of that fact in my life than right now, this very moment. Are they roping? I don't know. You gotta get their stream time on, or screen time, I guess. I don't know. They didn't get a crystal gem, so they can't get uh, on curve Barnabas, but you can still get a pretty early one. Assuming they uh, actually play the video game. But this is pretty scummy behavior. Actually, they do get the Barney down on curve because they have the coin. I'm mistaken. Hey, opponent, say here in chat and I'll gift you a sub on YouTube or Twitch. The perfect crime. Thank you, colleague. I'd prefer they just uh, press the unturn button when the turn is over. Like, this is actually so egregious that it's the first time, I think, that I've 
complained about the opponent's pace of play and nobody in chat has all defended right, it. Mods, you know what to do. Ban them all just to be safe. Got to. Better safe than sorry, right? Thank you, Colin. Well met. Dimitri, thank you for the six months. People have defended this garbage. They do it on every day of my life, yes. They will just bend over backwards to justify this type of uh, behavior pretty regularly. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh hey, I figured out the druid's win condition. Something something rope priest meta. That might be it, yeah. Thank you, hey, Justice Crater. You don't know what this opponent is doing? Maybe they're harvesting livers. Wouldn't that make you look silly? It makes somebody look silly. Mostly me. Ruffle, I am very sorry to hear that people are bad like this. Here are some bits for your trouble. That's alright. It's just part of the game. It shouldn't be, but... It is. Thank you, Pharmacy. I also, uh... Misplaced that, uh... That wolf. But... It's the result of tilt, I suppose. Might as well get some water during their turn, too. I'll be back.
done. Just need to generate that bunny again. I'll see you later, Jobadai. Thanks for hanging out. Probably stream sniping. I don't think we've seen anything to indicate that they're sniping, but like they're definitely griefing. damage right now. It's a pretty big low roll for me. about the Dorian effect. really frustrating that this type of opponent is going to get rewarded with a win here. Just sincerely some of the worst behavior I've ever encountered in this game. I'd say GG, but I'd be lying. We could counter rope him, but that would uh, just be stooping to their level. Had a few unfortunate uh, games in that round, but. Still able to scrounge four out of it. He 
there's no option for griefing. What a great system. All right. Uh, I guess we have time for one more run. I do love a good uh, Scarlet Blood Death Knight. So let's do that. That's like my favorite thing to do in duels. I will serve the Lich King no hematology and the weapon. It's not a joke or spam. Genuinely curious to see it done. I mean, the, the it won't be done, though. Like, I will play... It is just obscenely impractical to expect ever to get Mogu Cultist off in duels. If you'd like to see it done, you are welcome to try it yourself. Be the change you want to see in duels. I appreciate that, Sabrina. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. I think you'd even get Mogu to work in wild. Some of those old meme decks are super power crept. I mean, you could because you could lose 70% of your games. Get it, like... I mean, you could lose, like, 15 in a row in Constructed and then just get that one game where somebody sticks around and you get the highlight. That simply does not happen in in duels. So it's just, like, it's it doesn't work. It's not going to happen. It's just a follower curve. Like, yeah, we make the rune forging useless by doing this, but we get the healing that started off immediately. The sooner we get this online, the sooner it's online, so might as well. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Fly, party. I miss old wild pirate quest warrior. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ban you for that take. 
That is an absurd thing to say. How dare you. realm of death is filled with sorrow. I In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. All it takes is a lot of lava. Which is very bad for me. So that is just well infinity damage. Baron, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. a good weapon for them to hit first. Gotta get through me. Depending on how much they develop, we might either go Soul Stealer or uh, the Primus. I yeah, appreciate that, Baron. Glad you're liking the content. Thanks for the sub. Okay. Yeah, this is just going to be a Soul Stealer. does heal a lot, right? We're gonna need more gunpowder. Or I just die. I die. No! 
It's a really, really bad game one matchup. <laughs> Inspiring Presence. I've got Legendaries. I just didn't draw them last game. Second Vampiric Blood. And we probably just take the U Googleizers as much as I want that. The rest of the options aren't great. I appreciate the explanation in chat, but we can, like, it's starting to just monopolize all of chat, so we can just move on from, uh, like, it's been explained pretty clearly. We can move on from the Mogu stuff. It's not going to happen. Scarlet versus Lillian. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Looking for a fight? You found one. I need early game again. And we got the weapon. This is the same curve that I just had? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just kind of funny. Oh, good god. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What is it you ask? I ask that you don't bone me with the scrolls. Soft or hard tortillas for steak tacos? I mean, always soft, right? The real question is corn or flour. And the answer is who, it depends on who makes them. Uh, the sound of me going 0-2. Hello. What is it you ask? Much lighter. Yeah. Please do so. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that? Everything looks up to code. Imagine playing minions in the correct spot. I mean, the scrolls just won them the game. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, despite their best efforts, the scrolls won them the game. Pretty sure I should- Oh, they did- How? How do you keep doing it? Unintended consequences. God, man. The loss will be mourned and used. So unbelievably tilting. Let's go. 
They did it again! What are you doing? They did it again. No. It's got to be BM. I don't like, why would you be unlethal there? What is the upside? I want to press this button, but I don't think I can take the risk here. Your souls don't. No way. Okay. Jeez, I finally did one bad thing. Please, no damage. There's no world in which they deserve to win this. Spot for that to land for me. Only that it doesn't actually spend a corpse. I would have actually liked it for them to play that. Still going to win this, aren't they? Do I just need to tempo the Astalor here? Yeah. Our gift of fire empowers 
Hello. What is it you ask? Frustrating game. Good. Do they have any scrolls left? Four more. Most of their deck is scrolls at this point. Symptoms will be severe. How do you do everything in the wrong order? And that's coming from me, someone who does everything in the wrong order. I am so unbearably tilted. How can you play so poorly? So many times to miss to not mess that up. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Just take another soul stealer, I guess. God, I, I just man, if this is how duels is gonna be, I'm I'm gonna be done with it before it ends because my God, two of our out of our last three opponents have just been the most awful, awful opponents. Hey, welcome, Edu. Looking for a fight? You found one. All right. Get some cost reduction off the Astalor at least. <laughs> I like you're annoyed not because they got lucky, but because they misplayed twenty four seven. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm frustrated because they misplayed twenty every single opportunity they had, and then still won because they got lucky. Those are the same problem. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the chatter justifying this ridiculous behavior. We even found it. Jesus. <sighs> oh, welcome, Murloc. Not justified? No, it wasn't you. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. I wanna get value off of this. Arcane. 
Eventually, this has to lure will die, right? Do need an answer to the 404 that comes out. Ruffle, play worse so you can do better? Look, I play, I make enough misplays as it is. I don't need any help. I can already do that on my own, thank you. Or I don't have to do it intentionally. Gnome? Best hit for me. Well met. Almost eight years if my calculations are correct. Sounds about right to me. Thank you, L of Darkness, for the 45 months. Didn't even realize I've been streaming for eight years already, but the numbers don't lie. Actually, those last few games, I sort of feel like you've been streaming for eight years today alone. True. True. Perhaps a little too true. If I didn't have the double soul stealer Primus in hand, I'd probably consider going face. Good roll for me. Alexandra is honestly one of my favorite cards. Yeah, he's pretty sweet.
Oops. It's weird starving shenanigans happening again. Wait, that's a four or five now? just kind of want the corpses so that we can get more healing. Yes, they buffed it. I mean, why though? <laughs> Seems like a waste of brain power to, to make any change to that card. It's not gonna... You know who it can be targeted by. Try and close things out with the Astalor next turn, I suppose. They do still have the plus spell damage on their next spell, so hopefully they can't do 39 damage with it. We did it, Chad. We won a game. Wait, this is kind of repulsive. Both of these are. But I've got a lot of Battle Cry minions, don't I? It's like all of my minions. More battle cries. To whoever said this deck would go 0 3, look at us now. Uh, me. It was me, I think. game battle cry minions like the body bagger and none of these I think more than likely we will be the aggressor with the way these uh, passives lined up but 
been wrong before. If I really want to, just keep the uh, battle cries rolling. What? <laughs> Are they running C and E? I mean, it's kind of looking like they might be, isn't it? Was that voice line really loud for anyone else, or just me? They're spitting on you? Yeah, and they won't stop. Oh god, they got the weapon first. until we can uh, get our own weapon online. Not as loud as take the disguise, that's very true. The loss will be mourned and used. It's gonna be a lot of losses mourned and used here. Yeah, that's a very good the pickup. Loss will be mourned and Do this. Next turn is Alex. Hey, yo. You're the card that draws us the card. And the Reno's offline. I feel like this game will be well remembered and used. The runes side your Uh oh. I've got bad news for him. Blood, remnants of life. Second Primus, best Primus. The runes decide your fate. Remnants of life. Never forgotten. This overdraws me and doesn't get me any healing, so I'm not going to play it here. Well, Reno's back online. No, it's not. I've only shuffled Blood Plagues in. That's fitting. Your souls belong to the king. From your pages shall rise blood. We've had one Primus, yes, but what about second Primus? I'd love to see second Primus. Thank you, Web, but nice catch up. Oh, Pelia shows up in a bucket? That's uh, not a possibility. The loss will be Am I out of Battlecry minions? Or is that not the first Battlecry minion? Blood, Did I miss something? Ah, 
Oh, the sword. It's not battle cry minions. It's just battle cries. Okay. Wait, I'm almost out of cards. I didn't consider that aspect of things. Has science gone too far? We've rallied a little bit too hard. Oh right, we've got Astellar still. It's fine. Are two really, really obscene hits. Come, friend. Let's see what you've got. Well met. Hope you're having a good day. Please don't. I am. Thank you, Caffeine. My Appreciate the uh, four months. Lose this. This one turned out nicely. This may just be my best song yet. Like, I'm out of resources. It's a bad draw for them, at least. Allegedly. Drawing? Are you kidding me? That's bad. Speaking of.
sustenance. This hasn't done damage. Oh, this is a disappointing run. My blood for the Lich King. need to get out of this. Oh my god. That patchwork was devastating. Or the back to back. The patchwork into the uh, Penwu was devastating. At least you got a win. Yep. Yeah, that's really reassuring. It's just 50 minutes of my life wasted. For one win. Absolutely worth. All right. Uh, that's got to be it for me today. The, the, some of the frustrating things that were happening are just not something I'm willing to continue to subject myself to right now. Especially four hours in, I simply do not have time to uh, uh, to go any longer. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back uh, probably Monday. I don't know. We'll see. Appreciate you watching, and uh, see you again soon.